The court takes a new look at the controversial and widespread practice of considering the race of students who apply for college. Turned down by the University of Texas at Austin, a white high school senior, Abigail Fisher, sued. The university takes the top 10 percent academically of Texas high school graduates, then considers race as one factor in admitting the rest. There were people in my class with lower grades who weren't in all the activities I was in who were being accepted into UT, and the only other difference between us was the color of our skin. But civil rights groups say a more diverse campus does better at preparing students for the working world. The best way to get to racial diversity is to consider race in an individualized way that looks at the whole applicant. The court is likely to take up another racially charged issue, whether to scale back the landmark Voting Rights Act. It requires states with a history of discrimination at the polls to get federal permission before making any changes in elections. But with an African American in the White House and more minorities in Congress and state houses, challengers say it's outdated. Congress made an error in keeping the same jurisdictions under federal watch today that were under federal watch in 1965. The court is almost certain to take up a host of challenges to a federal law called the Defense of Marriage Act signed by President Clinton. It says the federal government will recognize only conventional marriages, meaning no federal benefits for gay couples in states where same-sex marriage is already legal. Same-sex couples are denied hundreds of different rights and benefits that are provided to marry different sex couples under federal law. And in two privacy cases, the justices will decide whether police need a search warrant to take a blood sample from someone they suspect of drunk driving, and how close police can let drug-sniffing dogs get to someone's house without a court's permission.